Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a little advice on how to um, how to optimize your eBay listing titles and how to beat the competition. As always the case when you're selling something you can always copy other people's listing but that's not a good thing to do. But you want to top of the search engine listing on eBay. You want to make a bit more sales and this is how you do it. For example, if you bought a, a let's, let's think of an idea. Say you're trying to sell a fly killer, All right, one that you hang on the wall and you bought one of those from your car boot cell, right? The electric one. So what sort of title would you put? And how do you go about optimizing your eBay title? And this is normally what I would do. So I'll put in a random keyword like fly killer to see how many listing comes under that title fly killer. Now as you can see, it gives me all this. These are all keyword suggestions. Like fly killer, fly killer restaurant and food service, we first and fly killer electrics. Stripes, window stickers, spray lights, cassette, bats, and rockets, and all the rest of it. So we're going to search fly killer. Let's do a little search. Right. Behold, look at this. Now here, as you can see, it gives me 20,500 result fly killer. So if you had a, if, if you're trying to sell a fly killer, electric fly killer, would you put the title just fly killer and put a listing? There's no why on on this earth that your listing will be found in eBay because there's 20,500 other people are trying to sell fly killers using that word fly killer in the title. Right. So um, how do we break it down to a good number so we can sell our product? So, so we, we know it's a fly killer. It kills flying. So what other keyword do we relate to that product? Okay. So what we can do now, we can put insect as in pest. Okay. Insect. I -N -C. Um, I, uh, what am I doing? Okay. So they're wrong. Okay. I N S E C T. Now it gives, gives us, look, Another suggestion it says electric fly insert killer. Now if we just for example we click that and see what happens. Look at this. Instantly our result comes down to 3920. So 3992. Can you see the difference between 20,000 and 3900? Now we even we want to go deeper. From this keyword. So what else could we put? We could put commercial as in restaurant catering. I can use the word commercial fly killer. Now let's see what happens. Hallelujah. There we are. There we go. Now it comes down to 37. Look at this. 37 result. Okay. Just adding the word commercial into it. It has come down to 37. The next thing what we can do is we can put the word catering because restaurant, pubs, clubs, cafe bars, these all sort of catering premises. So we put catering in there. Let's see what happens now. Behold, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Now, we started with fly killer. Fly killer. And that got us 20,000, almost 21,000 results. Then what we did, we got a keyword recommendation and we click on that. It dropped down to 3,000 something. And then we added the word commercial into it. It dropped to 37, I think. And now we just put catering. And now that becomes, look at this, zero becomes zero result for that keyword. This is a golden nugget keyword, ladies and gentlemen. Now you put that in your title, stick the photo, 
and you see you can charge as much as you like because there's nobody else using that keyword and that particular for that product so if you put anything um, on that keyword and you raised for example this this one here they're selling at 35.95 look 35.18 right Nesbit so that's a massive company Nesbit so you can literally compete against Nesbit same product same everything stick another 10 on top 45 quid and somebody will buy it because there's nothing else there within that keyword so that is how you optimize your eBay title so even when you're doing drop shipping don't wait for those um, tools they come up with titles you know just play around with it come up with it and you could do literally anything now look at this we can use the same thing if you're selling a blender okay so get rid of that blender blender okay we can use blender now it gives you all this smoothie maker blah 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 restaurant and catering so it depends what you're selling so if you're selling home blender you just go blender and it gives you a wild result of 12,978 now you can if that's a handheld blender you put a handheld blender okay handheld blender there we go see the drop counts to 412 now um, you can put electric electric okay now you can see the suggesting electric blender now it dropped to 103 look see now you can word, use other things right you can use word like mixer all right so let's do the search it goes up look if we're just using the word mixer it goes up to 282 there's too uh too much competition other people using that word mixer so let's get rid of the damn mixer put something else like the put um how can we put um we can put catering catering okay let's see what happens now now two result look see now that's two result now put home oh all right okay there we go nothing no result look see so we started with 12,000 something now we end up with zero nothing so do you not think if you are if you're selling in a blender use these this keyword like electric handheld blender home there you go if this is not a handheld blender you can don't worry about what it says handheld or not handheld you know these are all good keywords you want to maximize your competition or get rid of your competition you wanna on your own so this is how you look for it play around with words till you get to zero results stick that on your listing and you can charge much as you want there's somebody will buy it out there the people are looking for it and um, I hope this video has helped you out of it please click like and subscribe button and please also make sure you comment see if you're liking these videos once again thank you so much